We chose to meet in Jasper. Ultimately, it does not matter where you meet up as long as you end up in Burns Lake. Based on your choice of takeout, there are two, and I'll touch on these later, your team may be in for some more driving. Eventually, you'll end up on an aircraft chartered through Lake District Air out of Burns Lake and your team will be flown to a small body of water known as Coles Lake. From here you will embark on a 4 km hike to the river. It is not the most challenging terrain but still contains obstacles and risks to overcome. Once at the river you will navigate downstream through various canyons and rapids, not to mention one of the last remaining untouched rainforests in the world and pristine backcountry. As a side note, there is a possible evacuation location I've pinned here at Ear Lake. This was used in 2001 by a team because of high water. You do not want to enter the second canyon at high water. As you continue downstream, you will reach the confluence of the Kitlow, past Kitlow Lake, and eventually get to Gardner Channel. From here, you have your two takeout options. One is you take a boat ride all the way back towards Kitimat, shown in the blue line. Or, to save a whole bunch of time, you just book another flight. They will take you back to Burns Lake, and that will be the conclusion of your journey. Whichever you choose, it's a heck of a ride. Oh, buddy. Gamsby. Gamsby I think today is our nicest day and then uh, and then we're gonna see a bit of moisture not too much hopefully and yeah it's gonna be a good time about 80 clicks of water paddling a bunch of white water a bunch of flat water and uh, we're gonna have an effing blast catching That's coho blast. one after another Not all lollipops and nice views. It's uh, taking down treacherous creek things. Whoa. Glacier up there and uh, she looks pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> That's 1200 bucks I've ever spent. We got a long way to go. <laughs> I love this shit. Welcome to uh, Tristan and Brett's kayak walking service. If you've heard of dog workers, maybe even cat walkers. <laughs> we are here to walk your kayaks, take them to the most beautiful places possible around the world at our cost. Yeah.
Welcome to Narnia. Yeah. One more time. Why not? Good morning. Well, I'll be honest, after day one, we were feeling pretty down and about ready to quit kayaking. The river was super low. We had to hike, bump and scrape and drag our boats like, I don't know, five to seven kilometers um, after a four kilometer hike. So yeah, things weren't ideal. We got into camp, it was getting dark, it was rainy. We were all feeling pretty butthurt, so we ate, went to bed, woke up the next day, and yesterday we were treated with some actual river kayaking. So we got to remember how that felt again, and uh, took us through a really beautiful canyon, only a couple walks around some rapids, and uh, glorious day after all. And then now we're here at this beautiful campsite, which isn't uh, too far above the next canyon which is about twice as long as the one we did yesterday. So Stoke is riding high, our suffer tanks have been refilled, and we are ready for today's adventures. This is so badass.
just get the little extra skip out of them holes. Just some slight modifications? Yeah. I got more bow rock than you see. I see. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Wow. Seal launch. Dude, buddy, give me some. Oh my god. Coolest things I've ever experienced. Uh, this is like oh, cool waterfall. Beautiful. Dang, this buddy. here, folks, signifies the end of the white water. What do we got going on over here, Brett? Oh, yeah, my boy here, Tristan, caught some fish, so we're just cooking her up, eh? Oh, buddy. Yeah. Nice. Tastes like goodness. So my guy, Brett, over here is getting his daily dose of bear spray education. Why, Brett? I'm fucking learning, man. Brett's learning. Why are you learning? Well, you see, there's a bear that started over there. And it kind of went that way, so... Yeah. Fingers crossed that tomorrow morning, our food's still there. And that we're still here. And that we're still here, <laughs> more importantly. Cool. Here we go on day four. Saw three bears in the last 12 or so hours. BC is wild. Neat. Oh, this tree's just hanging on here. Cool. Confluence of the Gansby and the Kitlope. Oh yeah, buddy. Wow, oh, wow, buddy. you see him? She's giving her, bud, she's giving her. I got my tension, maybe it's too loose. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Woo! Oh! There's some fight in her. Oh, Baby, yeah. you're mine. Bring it in, bring it in, Brett. Oh. Let her on, let her on. It's a shark. Look at that thing. Fuck. Whoa. -ho -ho. Broke my line. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I lost it! Ah, oh, broke the line. That was a monster. Rivermouth. Open and bro.
getting pretty wide and flat. Made it all the way to Gardner Channel. Just finished, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. Pilot said he's gonna be here in about two hours. So just got time to chill, enjoy the scenery and uh, regale an excellent trip. Bonus feature. Hmm, what happened there? <laughs> There's our ticket home, baby. Yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> nice. The Gansby flows into and through the Kitlope Heritage Conservancy. This park was established February 20th, 1996, and is the world's largest intact coastal rainforest. The rainforest contains old growth trees that exceed 800 years and an immensely rich and diverse ecosystem, from otters to bears. A lot of bears. The Kitlope Valley lies within the traditional territory of the Heisla First Nation and is based out of Kitimat Village. Our experience here is profound and one will recognize the true meaning of wilderness in this area. We encountered no signs of human activity over the course of our trip. No fire rings or footprints, no micro litter or rock rings. Just the occasional drone of a distant aircraft and a helicopter flyby on day four. It was refreshing to discover that places like this still exist. We practice leave no trace camping principles and strongly encourage any future paddlers or visitors to do the same. If you choose to mission into this region as we did, be prepared and be safe. I hope you enjoyed the expedition. Happy adventuring.